Welcome to part two of the Monterey Golf Resort. And in the back nine of Monterey, which is just absolutely stunning, check out the description link below. We're gonna do another birdies versus bogeys challenge. For those of you that don't know the rules for a birdies versus bogeys challenge, a birdie is gonna get us one point for team birdie. A bogey is going to get us one point for team bogey. And if we make double or more, that's gonna get a point for team bogey and it's also gonna snatch one from team birdie. So it's gonna be a two point swing. If we make an eagle, that gives us two points for team birdie. Par, scores stay the same. So check out this birdies versus bogeys challenge. The last one at Amandera. Go and check out that video if you want to see how the very first birdies versus bogeys challenge went. And stay tuned to see this absolutely stunning golf course and hopefully I can play it the way it's supposed to be. And hopefully I can play it in a way that it should be played. So 10th hole at Monterey is a 366 yard par four. I'm playing off the silver tees today, which is just slightly shorter to give myself a chance of plenty of birdies. There's two more teen options further back. These guys are playing at 6,200 yards for the round. So it's not overly long. However, lots of bunkers, lots of hazards. You will see, check out part one to see how the golf course looks. Let's see how we start this back nine. So nil nil, team birdies are on zero, team bogeys on zero. 255 to the bunker on the left. Let's see if we can hit a little soft fade with the three wood. It's fading. Not enough though. Missed the bunker. That could be first shot in a bunker. Let's go and check it out, see how it is. So we've got one, four, seven to the pin. Fairway bunker, lovely, lovely hole, 10 full. Couple of bunkers short. I um, need to just hit a really solid, solid seven iron. So I'm just going to slightly open the face on this one. Keep the legs nice and steady. Hold a little bit further down the grip than normal. Just a touch. And I'm gonna try and get a little bit fady on this one so that I get ball first, sand second. Let's see how this goes. Put the ball slightly back in the stance, just slightly right of centre. And again, let's just put a good swing on this. Oh, it's left. Oh, it is left. That is not where you want to hit your ball. Found ourselves in a bit of a, a funny area. For those of you that don't know, really interesting fact, there's no out of bounds at Monterey. So you can basically hit your ball anywhere and as long as you find it, you can play it. Um, so quite an interesting one. There's not many courses with no out of bounds. This wouldn't be far off it. So dodgy lie, a lot of dead ground here, not where you're supposed to hit your ball. Ball first becomes really important. Onto a down slope, it's gonna run a lot. So I'm gonna play really back in the stance. Lots of weight left. And I've got an open face with a lob wedge so that it just comes off nice and soft. And hopefully, come on, keep chasing and sit. I'll take that from there. Right, 10th hole Monterey. Ended up in an okay position for par. So if we hold this, team birdies, team bogeys would still be tying the game. So let's see how we get on. It's an uphill right to left putt. So it should be pretty straightforward. A good stroke and this should be in the hole. Couple of swings, commit to the line. <sighs> that was dead straight, dead straight. So it's a point, team bogeys. Team bogeys in the lead. Always goes in second time, doesn't it? Never fails. If you could get like 10 mulligans for every round of golf, you'd be amazed how good you would be. <laughs> 
Team Bogies up 1-0. So here we have a Liverpool absolutely stunning par 3. Way downhill, not quite as many bunkers as some of the par 3s in the front nine. But um, yeah, it's just going to require a good shot. I've got 175 to the pin. There's a little bit downwind, so I'm going to go for big 8 iron. Big 8 is the club. Come on. Let's get a point for Team Birdie. Get left. Get left. Go. Ah. Oh. Didn't quite get all of that one. A little bit short, little bit right, but not too bad. Looks like I could maybe putt it, so see how we get on. So it's ended up in an okay spot. It's just missed the green to the right. Uh, the distance was good. Big 8 was the right club. And we're going to putt this one. There's a little bit of dead ground here. Nice lush grass here. But if you watch the first video, I was... Um, I was not too bad at putting from off the green. Hopefully that continues in the back nine. So it's a little bit right to left. And just getting the pace is just so important here. Trying to judge how fast or slow it's going to be through that dead ground. It's quite short, so it shouldn't snag it up too much. And then it will speed up once it hits the green. Travel. Hmm. Not the best. Save the par. So 11 hole, short par 4, 296 on the pin. We're going to play a nice easy one down the middle with a 4 iron. So keep it safe and then wedge across with the next one. So I'm going to aim just to the right of the left hand bunker. That's my line. A little fade off of that. Gets us down the middle. Ready for a wedge on. So middle of the fairway after the four iron. Shot over the water hazard. And 116 to the pin. So I'm just going to nudge a little pitching wedge. I'm just going to go sort of three quarter. Face open on it. And just kind of nudge it down there. Try and take some distance off the normal. I'm going right at this one. We need a point for Team Birdie. And I've pulled it so far left. Big bailout. I suppose if you're going to bailout, it's not a bad bailout. Missing right would require a chip on. This one's just putting. The pin was a lot closer to the hazard than what it looked, so not too bad, to be honest. We've got a putt for birdie. Let's see if we can uh, roll this one in. For Team Birdie. Charge. Go. Not too bad, pin high. We'll take that all day long. Right, putt for par to keep it 1-0 one, one, to Team Bogey, right. So downhill, right to left, tap that ball in. So we've started Bogey, par par, so point to Team Bogey. Team Bogey still up 1-0. I tell you what, tough, tough golf hole, only 296. Very tricky, kind of pulls the longer hitters in and makes you want to go for it, but the landing zone is tiny. And then if you're hitting at 200 and playing safe, 
It's not that safe, there's still lots of bunkers down the left, lots of trouble down the left, big hazard on the right, so it's a tricky hole. Uh, you have to hit some two good shots or there's no sort of bailout areas here. So yeah, nice hole. 13 hole at Monterey, it's a 388 yard par four. Straight downhill, really nice water feature at the back. Couple of well-placed bunkers at 240-ish, 260. Um, so if I don't hit it very good, they could catch me out. If I do hit a nice one, however, I can get it down, past those bunkers and leave myself a short wedge in so that is the plan so we can get a nice birdie on the card so we're going driver this hole it's a bit wider than some of the last few holes there's a lot more space so we can put a nice swing on this try and get it down as close as possible Get left. Get left. Should be okay. Went over the right hand bunker, was a good hit. So hopefully that should be absolutely fine. So hopefully that's a good one. Just blocked it a tiny bit, but it's wide open, so should be fine. So slight down slope, 57 yards to the pin. I've got Sandwich. I'm gonna aim slightly to the right. Allow for a hop, skip and a jump. It's not going to stop too quick. So there's a little gully in the middle of the, of the green. I'm going to try and land it there. Weight staying more left. Shoulders parallel with the slope. So I get a good strike. And it's just beyond half wave for my sandwich. Down. Spin. Sit. Sit. Not too bad. It's a little bit thin but only like one groove, so it was just a bit spinny. So we've got a putt for birdie. Oh, so it's ended up quite nice. I'm glad it checked because there's a hazard like two yards away. Anymore. I tell you what, if I knew the hazard was that close, that would have put, that would have put a little bit of fear in me. So I'm glad I didn't know. Sometimes that's the beauty of not playing a golf course. You don't know what trouble's there. So good chance, 10, 12 feet away. Not a lot of break. Let's put a good stroke on this and roll it in for the bird dog. Ah, oh, under read. Didn't allow for as much break as it had. Par. No disaster with par, but that was definitely a good chance. We've landed just short of the, the pin. It was one four five there. It went with a nice smooth eight iron. Got a little bit of backspin on it, a little bit of action. Decent chance of birdie again. Better than the last couple of holes. Better than the last hole. Uphill as well, so it can be a bit more aggressive. Let's see if we can roll this on. Let's see if we can roll this one in. I am getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. There's <laughs> so many, right? Come on, give me a birdie. Oh, it was a good stroke as well. Misread, 
That was a good stroke with a misread. I didn't see it going left to right. I think that's one thing actually that I've noticed coming to Portugal. Oh, a mosquito bite. It's one thing that I've noticed um, probably not played abroad in a little while um, Talking the last kind of year or two The green reading's not great I definitely quite fancy learning aim point I think it'd be great for the videos Great for content But I think I quite fancy learning aim point express So um, stay tuned That might happen If it does It'll be going on the channel Tell you what If you like a bunker This is the hole for you They're just all over the place 16 hole at Monterey If you love a bunker, this is the course for you, that's for sure. It's a 16 hole at Monterey, it's 537 yards, par 5. Team bogeys have 1 point, team birdies have 0. There's been lots of pars, only 1 bogey. It's been a little bit boring, I must admit. I want it to be a bit more exciting. However, 1 over par in the back 9, can't complain. But we do want a few more birdies, so hopefully a par 5 is a chance to change that. Big wide open fairway. As long as you pick a line and don't let any sort of hazards put you off Pick a line, it's wide open at the distance I'm going to hit it So I'm just going to commit to a line and put a good swing on it Should be in a good spot Kind of fighting the light, it's um, quarter past six at night 16 hole, it's obviously March, can't complain, however I'm starting to not see the ball flight that well But it was down the middle, so fingers crossed So it's not been the longest hit in the world I've still got 317 yards to go It was a bit necky, it was a bit towards the heel There's hazards and sprinkler heads I think I've probably hit something and either it's killed it or it's bounced back There's a few hazards around about here So pick a bunker, knock it 200 up there, there or thereabouts And hopefully go in with a wedge to have a good chance at birdie I've pulled it and it's towards a bunker let's go and find out where it is hopefully okay hopefully going in with wedge <laughs> this is a nightmare I'm in another bunker 90 yards to go <laughs> with a bunker in front I need a good strike I'm going at the pin because I don't want to make well, I've got to have a chance at a par so 90 yards ball back in the stands to hopefully catch ball first and a big swing So I've just hit an absolute worldie from the bunker I've given myself a chance for a par Rubbish drive, rubbish second shot Bunker to bunker And I've got a chance of a par So if I hold this I am running to the next tee Right Downhill right to left there for the par. This would be an entertaining par. Come on. Don't really deserve a par. <laughs> there was a lot of bad shots on that. So bogey, team bogey, two points, team birdie, zero. Not happy. Need a couple of birdies. Right, 2-0 to Team Bogey. We are on the 17th. It's getting pretty dark, actually. And it's a 371 yard par 4. So we'll get driver out. Let's see if we can feed one down there. And have a short club in. Come on, little feedy one here. Or a little healy one. Oh, that was such a bad strike. But it's fine. That's okay. Maybe a slightly longer, shorter club. <laughs> so I've absolutely necked one down the middle with the, the driver. 159 to the middle. I'm going with 7 iron. Hopefully hit a nice, lovely 7 iron, nice and crisp right at it. Second shot, 17th hole, 7 iron. Oh, that is a thinned, hooky, horrible thing. <laughs> and another bunker. Oh, that was minging. So must have got really lucky there. It must have either went in the bunker and hopped over, which probably not. Or it's so dark at the moment and I've just not really 
seen it carry. So, happy days. We've got the putter instead of the lob wedge. We've got a putt for birdie. Happy days. Let's see if we can make the most of the good news and roll this in. Steady. Speed was good. Reed was absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Awful. So it's an uphill putt, meaning we can be a bit more aggressive. That was terrible. <laughs> Such a bad putt. There's been quite a few misreads on this back nine. Front nine was definitely better. Remember to check out the part one of the brake par challenge. I'm glad this one's not a brake par challenge. We're two over. We've visited quite a few bunkers. I've had equally as many mosquito bites and equally as many misread putts. <laughs>